Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, where last time uh, we had a little hidden quest from Heiyue and then we went fishing. Now I, I defeated Kaguya the Dragon Priestess, P Dragon Princess, what was the name right? Um, off screen. Yes. Anyway, quests, right? Um. Let's go to St. Ursula. Hello, this is St. Ursula Medical College Hospital. The name is a bit of a mouthful, so most people just call it St. Ursula Hospital. If you're here for a medical exam or to visit the patient, just head to the reception desk in the building at the very back. Lloyd? Uh, oh! Hello, Cecil. Cecil. <laughs> hey, there, Cecil. Sorry for dropping by so suddenly. <laughs> ah, it's no trouble at all, Lloyd. <laughs> Ellie, Randy, Noel, it's good to see you all again. How have you been? <laughs> well, Thank you. Long time no see. Way too long if you ask me. I'm flattered you remember me. I believe the last time we spoke was on the CGF Kenny doing the cult incident. Ah yes, uh, that's not an easy night to forget. So, you're the older sister Lloyd never had. I've heard oh so much about you. Oh, I don't believe we've met. You must be the other new addition to the SSS apart from Noel. That's one of many things I am, yes. But the hemisphere, the pleasure is all mine. Nice to meet you. I suppose I owe you a proper introduction as well. Um, my name is Cecile Noyes. I'm a nurse here at St. Ursula Hospital. I appreciate you getting along with my dearest little brother here. Cecile, I get where you're coming from, but you don't have to put it like that. It's not like we're related by blood. Um, anyway, Cecile has been looking out for me for as long as I can remember. Oh no, Lloyd, you don't need to be so embarrassed about me in front of your friends. Nobody said I was. Never mind that. Um, let's get back to the real matter at hand. You're two beautiful new co workers. The SSS just keeps adding candidates, Lloyd. Have you decided which one of them you're going to date? It's date? Cecile, the SSS is a serious police division, you know, not a singles club. Oh dear, my apologies, I didn't mean to be so inconsiderate. What was I thinking bringing this up when Tio isn't back yet? Why, that's just not fair to her. Lloyd, once Tio comes back, make sure you take the time to decide who in the SSS is going to be your soulmate. Were you even listening at all? I told you, it's not like that. Watching Cecile tease him like this makes me feel right at home somehow. Oh yeah, nothing like seeing Lloyd's kill me now groans so way over at. Not you guys too. Oh shush, I really have missed you these past couple months, you know? As it so happens, I'm about to start my break. Would you like to have some tea with me inside? I wouldn't mind that at all. What do you say guys? Time for tea? Why not? This would be a good chance to catch up. So, it's still going to be a while before Tia rejoins you all, is it? Yeah, she had a lot of work on her plate last we heard. I'm sure the Foundation's been keeping her plenty busy over at headquarters. Well, that's a shame. Hopefully they let up enough for her to come home soon. 
I can't wait to ask about all the things she experienced in the month's save when she gets back. <laughs> yeah, same here. And I'm willing to bet she is just as eager to see you again, too. Wow. Hmm. What's with you two? It's just... Everyone always talks about how close you two are, but seeing it in person really cements the fact. The rest of us can't even get a word in edgewise. I'm practically green with envy. Your hair is always green. Get a load of a funny man over here. He doesn't even feel the least bit bad about it. Sorry not all of us get to cozy up to a catch like the seal since the day we could spell our own names. Not the way he clearly has now. And if he keeps taking it so casually, it's going to come back to haunt him in his other relationships. What are you guys talking about? Now that you mention it, I did end up taking quite a bit of your time catching up, didn't I? I'm sure you had a more important reason for coming here today. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, um, we're here regarding a support request from someone named Dr. Salant. They're the new head of the neurology and pharmacology departments here, right? Yes, that's right. The news of Dr. Günther's transgressions came to light and the public learned about his drug. The hospital was in a state of chaos. In the wake of it all, the doctors did their best to provide care for recovery victims, even while they were off duty. Things went easy. It's only been just recently that St. Ursula managed to regain the patient's trust. Damn, I didn't realize how hard these last few months have been for new guys. <laughs> it's okay, we managed to work things out one way or another. Now that the scars from that incident are finally healing, St. Ursula Hospital is making an effort to move forward. To that end, Dr. Salant was recruited into our staff from Ameferia. Am I correct to assume they're related to the Salant company famous for manufacturing medical equipment? Yes, that's right. She's a relative of its founder. I've never met a woman who exudes so much confidence. She really knows how to command the room. Oh, so we place that dot back with a lady? Oh, now I'm really looking forward to meeting her. D don't mind him. If that's her background, then I'm sure she's a great doctor, especially if she's got your stamp of approval. I assume she's appropriately qualified, academically speaking. Yes, just like a predecessor, she specializes in the fields of pharmacology and neurology while in Ramifaria. Dr. Silent also recently led a successful operation on Mikael, a boy with serious illness who has been staying at the hospital. Oh, so that's happened by now. That was uh, throughout Zero that Michael never dared to go through the proceeding and what delayed it was him being too scared to actually say, yes, I want this to happen. In fact, she's now in the early preparation for Shizuku's next scheduled surgery. Did you say Shizuku? Wow, that's big. I'm glad she's in the hands of someone so capable. Would you happen to know where we can find Dr. Sailand right now? At this time of day, she's usually holed up in her lap in the research ward. If you speak with Sarah at the reception desk, she'll phone her for you and let you into the building. Actually, since we're both headed the same direction, why don't I escort you there? That would be great. Let's go. Yes, yes, that's right. If you would please, uh, thank you very much. Okay, I just confirmed everything with Dr. Salant. She'll be waiting for you in her office over in the research ward. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, you were a big help. My break is almost over, so I think I should leave you all to your work now. Yeah, we can get there on our own. It was nice catching up with you. Thanks again, Cecil. Not at all. I'm sure the SSS has plenty of tough days ahead, but 
I know all of you can handle it. I believe in you, Lloyd. Right. Thanks, Cecile. Lloyd, you lucky son of a bitch. I believe in you, Lloyd. What? I can't believe she actually said that to you. I don't think she did it quite that enthusiastically. When you put it that way, it almost sounds like you wish she did. What a shame that you didn't get one of her trademark tender embraces. Now that you mention it? Trademark? Wait, what's this? Exactly. Knock it off, alright. We're on duty. Now let's go find Dr. Salant. Remember, the research ward is on the roof and the pharmacology lab is on the fourth floor. He changed that subject pretty fast. Must have really gotten under his skin. Isn't it the best? Now you know why I go out of my way to tease him so much. I heard that. Okay, I take a quick look around to the hospital. Well, it won't be quick, but. Oh, this is Wendy. I see you have Cecile's little brother in tow, too. What's up, Lan? Been too long since we last met up. It's good to see you again. Oh, you're right. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'd love to stay and catch up with you guys, but I'm in the middle of my shift. We'll have to save it for another time. Still, it was good seeing you again. Pharmacology lab, um, on the roof is the research, in the research ward, yeah. I hate to say it, but Santa Ursula's reputation of the medical community has taken a hit ever since that cult incident. It's frustrating, but I understand why. After all, one of our own doctors manufactured a drug that threw the whole state into chaos. Thankfully, police investigations confirmed that the standard drugs we prescribed to patients were both legal and appropriate. However, even amongst our patients, we can still sense that distrust towards the hospital as a whole. Official reports should have cleared the hospital's name regarding the cult incident, yet even now there's still some who don't fully trust us. It may take some time, but we're going to earn our reputation back, and we do it by providing the best healthcare on the continent. I can't help but notice how complicated medications labels have become these days. I understand why they're meant to I, I understand they're meant to put you more at ease, but I'm not so sure. Honestly, these ingredients are nothing but gibberish as so far as I'm concerned. Ah, I'm tired of waiting. When it's gonna be my turn? Apparently the hospital appeared for an investigation to clear their name after the cult incident. That's good to hear. I prefer visiting the hospital without worrying. I may end up becoming a part of some ritual. Here's your grandpa's medicine, Amisa. Make sure he takes it all. Make sure he takes it, alright? I will. Thank you again, Mr. Litton. It's great to hear that Mr. Quinn is finally taking his medication. It's all thanks to little Amisa's efforts. She never gave up for a second. Just as thick as his grandpa. Huh? Don't worry, I keep making sure that Grandpa takes his medicine. To this day, I'm stunned that Dr. Günther could have been responsible for such a heinous conspiracy. It's appalling, it is what it is. Some people just aren't what they seem to be. Yep. Oh, I remember you. You're the officers from the SSS who helped me with my research. As it so happens, I'm heading up road for an academic conference tomorrow to present my thesis on Lipunis grass. I was just thinking about how I owe you another debt of gratitude. Lupinus grass? Oh right, you had us retrieve some from Crossbell Cathedral for a support request. Congratulations on your research. It wouldn't have come this far without the supply you secured for me. Uh, allow me to thank you once again. My only regret is that I won't be here when our special visitor arrives at the hospital, but I suppose there's no sense worrying about it now. My roommate Flower has been tutoring one of our newest medical interns. Miko, I think his name was. Seeing him so bright eyed and bushy tailed reminds me of when I was the newcomer around here. Not that I'm not still learning, of course, there's always more to study. 
so much more. Damn that lag, if you had any more hot air in him, he'd soar into the sky like a balloon. He's as bold as he is bald. Every time he opens his mouth, he reasserts himself as the most pretentious doctor in Zamoria. Though I concede that research of his in Lupino's grass is impressive, well, relatively anyway. I've never denied that Lago is a fine doctor or that his research is valuable. But that doesn't make him any less of a bald headed bunghole. I've learned to live with it though. I practically jumped for joy when I heard Dr. Salem was joining our faculty. I see the Salem company's name every single day. It's my job to work with their equipment after all. To think a relative of a president would take up a position here? If I'm lucky I might pick up a few company secrets. <laughs> That is, if I could ever work up a coach to strike up a conversation. I don't know why, but there's something intimidating about her. I'd love to ask Dr. Salem about the family's company, but I just can't find the right opportunity. You should know Chief Ursuline is an expert when it comes to medical devices. See, growing up in Le Mans State gave her the opportunity to study the basics of orbital apparatuses at the Epstein Foundation. Me, I'm helping her research medical equipment. It's an honor working under someone so qualified and well learned. One armamentarium is indispensable when it comes to providing patients with absolute best in modern healthcare. I believe the research we're doing today is going to pave a way for the future of medical science. The doctors and nurses of this hospital are all so kind. It almost makes me wish I could stay a patient forever. Okie dokie, let me just set up that IV drip for you. Um, are you sure you remember how to do it this time, Nurse Theron? What if you pierce the wrong spot and I start spurting blood? Again? Ah, oh, come on, that only happened once, and besides, it was an honest mistake. Now, don't you worry, everything will go just hunky dory this time. Probably. Probably. Ah, where did the needle go? I could have sworn I just had it. Oh god, this helped me. That sounds like Siron, alright. Welcome to the nurse's station. It's a very good morning to a... Uh, wait, is you, Randy? And is that Cecil's little brother I see? What's up, Philia? How have you been? It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. I've been alright, but you two look like you're doing great. Oh, and Randy... I think I might have another opening in my schedule soon. No fooling? What do you say we get the gals together for another group date? Here we go again. You sure sound eager for someone with no openings in a schedule. Need I remind you that we're here for work? Oh, I just can't wait to go on another group date with everyone. You have to come with us too, Lloyd. Promise not to tell Cecile? Did you know that Dr. Salen is quite well known in Remifaria? She has a doctorate, an illustrious pedigree, and even ties with a princely family. Why, her references are simply impeccable. But personally, what I like most about her is that she's unflappable. A woman has to be, especially in our modern working world. I broke my leg in a traffic accident. Mr. Worst, I have important work to do back at my job. I hope I won't be forced to resign over this. There was a lot of fuss a little while ago about a scandal involving one of the hospital's former doctors. That doesn't worry me though. The rest of the stuff he had nothing to do with it. Then no, they're the best of the best. Ah, your post-operative progress has been going swimmingly, Merkel. I think it's only a matter of time before you're discharged. You should give your parents in Le Mans a call and tell them the good news. But really? Would I lie? Dr. Salem did a wonderful job of your operation, of course, but it was your courage that brought you this far. We're all very proud of you. Thank you, Dr. Beldin.
It's amazing how talented Dr. Salent is. I think even I could learn a lot from her. I'm actually leaving the hospital. I wasn't sure if I'd ever be able to. I, I better call my parents in Le Mans. Do you remember Mr. Gable? He was under long-term care here before being discharged over the summer. That man was so selfish, not to mention a real pain in the neck for all of us. Still, I wonder how he's doing wherever he is. Oh, I just remembered. Sirona is supposed to be administering a thing, an IV drip today. I better go check in on her. The last thing I want is to have to clean more blood out of the bed sheets. I was wondering where you were, Cecile. What brings you to Shizuku's room? Oh, I thought I'd clean up around here while I have a chance. Shizuku was allowed to go into the city today, as I'm sure you know. She couldn't stop talking about all the fun she and Kia were going to have. Haha, <laughs> those kids are like two peas in a pot now. I'd say I'm glad they get along, but I have yet to meet a person who hasn't taken a shine to her. You're not wrong. If there's one thing that girl has, it's a knack for making friends. You can say that again. We also have her to thank for making Shizuku brighter and happier than before. I couldn't be more grateful for that. In fact, I may just follow in Shizuku's footsteps and play with Kia on my next day off too. Feel free. I know she would love to spend more time with you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Sometimes when I work up here, I pick up juicy little tidbits from the residents while they're on their lunch breaks. There has been a bit of a tittle-tattle surrounding Dr. Salent right now, as it seems. I haven't spoken with her myself, but I do wonder what kind of person she really is. A book entitled A Primer on Crossbell and Cuisine sits primly on the shelf, learned braced stew. Can't look at that photo of the sea guy and Lloyd there. Okay. They recently welcomed a new medical resident here at St. Ursula. That's him over there, his name is Miko. I heard he studied on his own over in Crossbell. You have to admire that kind of tenacity. I'll be sure to tweet him whenever he stops by. I, I admire anyone who's willing to put in some effort the way our new junior resident does. I'll be sure to tweet him to plenty of tweets and other goodies. A shining palm cushion for Kia. Flora can be strict, but her teaching methods really do work. She knows so much about everything we're studying, I'm lucky to have her tutoring me. The only thing I'm not sure about with Flora is her habit of cracking open anatomy textbooks during meals. I've been entrusted with tutoring our new junior resident, Miko. It may eat into my own studying hours, but I think I'll be alright. This is an opportunity for me to learn too. If I'm doing this, I'm not going to pull any punches with it. Mentoring your underclassmen counts as studying too, you know. If I'm doing this, I'm not going to pull any punches. And there's a fishing spot here. Oh, hello, Andy. And is that Cecile's little brother? Long time no see. How is he on a first name basis while well, I'm still stuck as Cecile's little brother? Hey, Ada, how have you and my favorite St. Ursula girls been doing? I'm doing well. Felia and Lana are just the same as ever. Say, it looks like a team has a few new members. We should get together and do something fun again. Next time you're free.
<laughs> All right, Dust. Prepare to get busted. Oh, hello. Do you have business with one of our stuff, perhaps? I'd be your guide, but as you can see, I'm a little occupied. I believe all the doctors and residents are in the hospital at the moment. If you're looking for someone, I'd suggest you try them. Alright, time to visit Dr. Salent. Pardon us, this is the special support section. Come in! It took you long enough. You're here approximately two minutes later than I would have liked, but I won't let that sour the many good things I've heard about you. Persnickety, ain't she? Can't deny she's a real looker, though. Oh, she looks really overworked. Well, come in, no sense in yelling all the way across the room. Right. You're Dr. Silent, correct? We are told you completed a compositional analysis of Gnosis. You know, sorry to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask of you first. The data you want will have to wait until after you've taken care of it. You mean your support request? Is there a particular reason you can't give us the Gnosis results first? As it so happens, what I'm asking you to do pertains to those very results. It concerns the number of patients who were under the drug's influence. Oh, that makes sense. Fair enough. We'll get right on it then. Would you mind giving us more details? I'd like for you all to collect several health surveys from those aforementioned patients. After the incident of a cult, the hospital concentrated its efforts on caring for recovering victims of Gnosis. Of course, that treatment has long since been completed for the most part. However, not every patient returned to the health survey the hospital gave them. I think I understand now. If you don't have all the surveys, the analysis won't be as accurate. Correct. I want you to take care of this to the suit. In total, there are three patients who have yet to submit their surveys. The first is Dino, a boy from Cosby City Downtown District. The next is Nikolai, a performer for Arc Ciel. And finally, one of the CGF guardsmen, Kles from Belgard Gate. Go to them, explain the situation and collect their surveys. Make them fill it out if they haven't already. Got it. I think I remember all three of them. We can start by heading up to the city and talking to the guys from downtown at Arcon Ciel. Then we head out west to Belgard. Kles will probably be in the mess hall around this time. It sounds good to me. Let's get to it. I'll leave it in your hands. Once you've retrieved the paperwork, return here and report to me. Once you do, I'll be able to give you your Gnosis analysis results. Formal treatment for the drug patients is nearly over. However, there are still a few that haven't returned the health surveys. Dino, Nikolai, Kles. Come back once they're done. Exit the research ward. Um, downtown. Yes, yes, yes. What are you guys doing here? Wait a sec. Is that Bazi back there? Get out of here, you bastard! Still not welcome in these parts, am I? We understand how you feel, Dino, but just hear us out for a moment. 
Lloyd explained that they had come on behalf of Dr. Saland to collect Dino's health survey. Survey? Oh yeah, that. I remember them handing it to me when I was still being treated there. And don't tell me to cross it in the trash the second you got home. I mean, no, but I stopped feeling any after effects from Gnosis a while ago. I didn't want to bother going all the way to the hospital again when I'm already better. Dino, I don't think it's wise to self-diagnose yourself like that. Think of it this way. If you end up wrong and your symptoms return, the rest of the Saber Vipers will suffer for it. Uh, guess you're right. Okay, fine, just give me a minute. I know it's around here somewhere. Let me go find it and fill it out. Oh, at least he won't be walking away empty-handed. Yeah, let's give him some time. Yeah, this is what you want, right? Dino's health story. Yep, that should do it. Thank you, Dino. Whatever. You don't gotta thank me about it. Now take that lettuce-headed punk and get out of here, will ya? All right, all right. Sorry for the trouble. Next is Entertainment District. Nikolai? Oh, hi there, SSS. Hey, Nikolai. We've got a quick question for you. Lloyd explained that they had come on behalf of Dr. Saland to collect Nikolai's health survey. Ah, oh, that thing. I was having so much fun with her, but I totally forgot to return it. Hang on just a second, I'll just grab it for you. This is it, right? Yeah, thanks. Your change in attitude tells me that Terrible Duck no longer has a hold on you. Yeah, I never would have been able to get myself of that stuff without the proper treatment. Thinking back, it's hard to remember why I even resorted to it in the first place. I guess I was just that desperate to do something about my total lack of talent. In other words, it slipped right past your insecurities and into your heart. Shouldn't be much to worry about though, as long as you're aware of that now. Right. All I'm hooked on these days is striking to be the best Archon Seer performer I can be. I can't wait to see how it plays out on the stage. Oops, should go back to training. I trust you guys to deliver the survey for me. Still got geeked. And they said classes in the mess hall. You, right? Yo, class, how are hanging? What? Randy! We have training is over, what are you doing here? Allow me. Lloyd explained that they had come on behalf of Dr. Saland to collect Class's health survey. Health survey? Oh, right! I totally forgot about that! I should have that right here. Just a sec. Um, it's this, right? Yeah, that's the one. So you guys have to come all the way out here just for a piece of paper. You know, I've been so over moon lately that I've totally forgotten about the whole Gnosis mess. Oh, for the moon? Yes, the land I have been getting real lovey dovey and. Alright, lads, lads roll. Our job here is done. Right. Good call. We don't really have the time to sit around for the entire saga. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you want to hear about it? Sorry, we got business to take care of. That's the last of the health service we had to collect. I'm sure Dr. Sailor has been watching the clock. Let's get these back to her as quickly as we can. It's only polite to stay and listen when a guy is pouring his heart out, you know. 
I mean, I could talk about my sweet darling Stella for hours, days even. I'm sure you could, buddy. See ya. Wait, wait, hear me out, will you? We don't have days. You're back. Five minutes later than I would have preferred, but I suppose you didn't flunk completely. Give us a break, dog. So thanks. Anyway, we finished collecting the health surveys. Here you are. Hmm. Is there some sort of problem? No, just the opposite, in fact. According to these results, no patient is displaying any symptoms of after effects. That would mean our treatment of agnosis victims has officially concluded. Well done. But that's great. What a relief. I could have done without a cross state marathon, but it was nice to have a good cause at least. I can give you the agnosis analysis results right away if you'd like. Do you have a time to spare? Of course, whenever you're ready. I'll try to summarize what I've learned from the Gnosis analysis. First and foremost, I discovered that Gnosis can effectively disable what is known as brain limiters. Brain limiters? Never heard of them. Then perhaps you know that the average person performs at less than half their physiological capacity. The brain places subconscious limiters on the body's faculties to decrease the risk of physical strain. However, should those limiters be released through artificial means, it would, in theory, be possible for a human to operate their fullest individual potential. In other words, Gnosis isn't designed to enhance physical strength. Rather, the drug forcibly draws out a person's latent abilities. Precisely. Naturally, removing those limiters takes a considerable toll on the body. That much we know, all the guardsmen were under its influence were incapacitated after the fact. Some of them were in such a rough shape that they won't have bedridden. But that little rehab training went through got them back to fighting shape, from what I could tell. Yeah, thankfully enough. Getting back to the Gnosis effects. There's also a man who used the drug to heighten his luck and senses, racking up win after win at the casino. It also had an adverse impact on his personality and speech patterns. He was like an entirely different person. Are those symptoms also a result of Gnosis releasing these brain limiters? Uh, it's possible. The drug is confirmed to rapidly augment all five of a person's sensory systems. It's only logical that it would affect one's emotional state as well as heightened feelings of anxiety and paranoia. It would explain why a subject and its influence becomes so agitated. Makes sense. Yeah, that's a perfectly reasonable explanation to me. However, this is to the extent of what we can glean about the drug on a biochemical level. Pardon? When evaluating a number of a drug's effects, the only word that comes to mind is unscientific. Take, for example, the ability to sway fortune itself in one's favor, as you just mentioned. But that is far from the most inscrutable phenomenon that you all witnessed. I refer, of course, to the demonization process. That's. True. Good luck explaining that. It was taking the wet gnosis that caused demonization. Would that mean its components were different from the blue variant? Well, about that. I found that composites of a wet and blue gnosis were actually identical. Again, that's biochemically speaking. Really? 
Yes, the divergence of color comes from a refining process. Beyond that, however, their chemical makeup is one of the same and their molecular structure is nearly so. Yet it was reported that only the red gnosis variant was capable of causing the inexplicable metamorphosis. The only sensible conclusion one could derive is that this demonization was no more than a collective hallucination induced by panic. Yeah, I don't think so, Doc. Demonization was real, I witnessed it for myself and we arrested Ernest Race. I understand that, hence why I said that this was the extent of what we could learn from the analysis. The only purpose for this approach was to unravel what we could about Gnosis through the lens of biological chemistry. I see. That's a surprisingly open mind for someone who works in modern medicine. Not at all. Modern medicine isn't a panacea, particularly when it comes to matters of the mind and soul. Gnosis likely possesses a hidden property that makes those two factors resonate with the body. I'm certain that not even your Akim fully understood Gnosis' true capabilities. Using rituals, secrets handed down within the cult, he developed it for pure trial and error, succeeding only in its mass production. It's true, that much was confirmed by the man himself. I remember, he said he perfected the drug through the data yielded by the cult's rituals. As I thought. He was competent and enthusiastic, yes. But he lacked the makings of a true genius. And in the end, it led him down a dark path. Hold on a second. Are you saying you knew the guy personally? Yes, he and I were colleagues in medical college back in Remetheria. I hadn't seen him since graduation, but we did occasionally exchange letters about our respective research results. To think he would misuse his findings in the name of such an abhorrent cause, and at the cost of his own body and soul at that. Dr. Salent, our condolences. No, I should apologize. My sentiments aren't what you came here for. In any event, this is as much as I can tell you about the drug. A different methodology will be necessary for you to learn any more about Gnosis. This is simply my intuition speaking, but I believe its primary ingredient, Pleroma grass, may hold the key to any further revelations. Pleroma grass. It was mentioned by name in the cult data terminals. Yeah, but that's about all we got. No one figured out what kind of plant it is or where it's supposed to grow. I'm well aware. I even turned to some of the continent's best botanists only to find they could tell me nothing about it. The grass may be a rare species was cultivated in secret, or perhaps something else entirely. Regardless, given the drug's effects, it may be that a plant has supernatural properties as well. Supernatural? <laughs> a dash of paranormal phenomena never fails to liven things up. Thank you for the information, Dr. Salent. I think we are one step closer to finding the truth behind the drug now. Is that right? Well, I'm happy to help. This marks the end of my role in the investigation of Gnosis. You are welcome to visit me again if you learn anything new, or however. At the very least, I can offer you my professional opinion on whatever you come across. Feels like every question she answered, just dug up a handful more of them. One step forward, two steps back. And there aren't many leads to go off now. Now that Joachim's gone. We may have to rely on further analyzing the cult data to get the information we want. Just another side project to add to our agenda, I suppose. 
Yeah, let's keep it in mind. Either way, we've done everything we were asked as far as this request goes. How about we check in with the seal one last time before we leave? Oh, you know I'm down. Quest, the doctor is incomplete. Last time she was in Suzuku's room, she is no more. So where is this? Is she back at the nurse's station, perhaps? Nope. Her room? In her room. Hello again, everyone. Are you on your way back from finishing Dr. Salen's request? Yeah, that's right. How about you, Cecil, taking another break? You could say that. I'm on the graveyard shift tonight, so I'm getting some things in order before heading back to the main building. I was thinking of grabbing some of my favorite black tea to keep me awake. You must have a long night ahead of you. I get that you're doing good work, Cecile, but don't forget to take care of yourself too, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. Give me some credit, Lloyd. I'm tougher than I look. Maybe a little bit of guy's tenacity rubbed off on me after all our years together. Now that you mentioned I couldn't help but notice what photo you were looking at when you walked in. Is that a picture of a man himself? It is. Would you like to take a closer look? I think I remember this one. It was taken three years ago, right outside the CBD. The man on the right is my older brother, Guy Bennings. So that's him. <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy who's unafraid to wear his heart on his sleeve. Not unlike another Detective Bennings I know. Damn, Cecile was just as much of a bombshell back then as she is today. What I would have given to have a gorgeous woman like her doting on me growing up. I have some self-respect, Randy. Looking at you and Guy together like this, the two of you seem like a perfect couple. Why, thank you. I don't think I could have asked for a better compliment. Let's not overlook that cute third wheel of a little brother in the middle. I don't think your baby face has changed a bit. Already I can see the budding signs of a heart feeler you are destined to become. The pure maidens of this world just weren't ready for you. Excuse me? He's not wrong. If he'd had this charm since back then, he really is a force to be reckoned with. I feel like I'm getting misrepresented here. <laughs> Still, a lot has changed in a few years since this photo was taken. So much. But even as the world moves on, I feel just as stuck in the past as the day Guy passed away. This is Seal. Listen, it may take a while longer, but I want you to keep waiting. I haven't forgotten that I have never given up. I swear, one day I'm going to find the truth behind my brother's death. And he won't be alone. The SSS is Guy's legacy. This, that means we're in this together. Why, f thank you, everyone. But don't feel as though you have to accomplish the impossible. So long as you're able to carry your lives in peace, that's all I really need. So if I ever see you brought in here on a stretcher, I'll have Dr. Silent whip up the worst medicine you've ever tasted. Well, if she's the one making it, I'm sure it would work at the very least. Uh, if she wanted to, she could probably concoct the bitterest thing imaginable without sacrificing any positive effects. P point taken. We'll be careful. If I knew the truth behind Guy's death, I could finally move on. But don't feel as though you have accomplished the impossible. Alright, I think... Wait, one thing I wanted to do. I fished at Kaguya's fishing spot and got the fish we needed for Sharkman here. Aha, <laughs> you're from Fisherman's Guild, aren't you? I'm Sharkman, the Ocean's Edge. The Ocean's what? The Ocean's Edge, my boy, as in the very edge of the sea. And now that you're here, the two of us are going to have an endless duel to the death! That's a bit too high stakes for me. Whoops, I mean the rules are sudden death. Though actually you've got to meet your conditions first, anyway. 
Believe it or not, I've got a reputation for having the finest technique in very lead form. To challenge me, you'll need to catch a number of my favorite game fish. If you want to know the exact species you're looking for, just ask Salem back in the city. Why can't you just tell me here? But fine, whatever. I think I have all of them. Ah, well done, my boy. You've met my conditions just fine. Alright, no time to waste. Let's have ourselves an endless duel. Like I said before, the term of a stew will be sudden death. Here's how it works. We take turns casting our rods, and the first who fails to wheel in a catch will be the loser. <laughs> I'll start us off then. Take this! Get a load of this! A piranha! My turn then. Um, just from or from. Okay, no earth form here. Good. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, and off screen I noticed there was a fishing rod on offer in the casino. So I bought the little shooter. Okay. So just snow crabs is the only thing I have? I can actually fish something here? Because I tried everything else out, I never got a fish. I just hope it happens soon when he fails. Because I'm running out of bait. Yes, get to that. It got away. Ah, could it? Screwed up. Win. <laughs> I never thought I'd lose to a pretty boy like you. You take this, it's proof that you tame the ocean's edge. Thanks. And on that note, this calls for a title. From now on, you're the ocean tamer. I know it makes you want to puff your chest out, but don't get coggy, kid. Don't forget, I'm Sharkman, the ocean's edge. In other words, my home turf is out in the open blue. Had this been a sea fishing duel, you'd have been torn asunder. Right. Hmm? No. I can't. Still can't fish anything else, right? Because I need to get more. <sighs> More snow crabs then. 
Oh, also, um, doing the other two fishing things, um, I found. I got rare fish and these rare fish also dropped pieces of a legendary fishing rod or something. So I suspect every one of the uh, Elite Four has, has one of these legendary fish in it in the fishing spot. So To finish it and I already asked about the fisherman's guild guys and Peter told me um, if I find all four pieces it's four pieces then he can rebuild a fishing rod for me anyway good this shall be it for this episode until next time then I'm Mace and don't get lost